time, I'd be all right with that. Uh, let's dive into, we're going to stay in college football, but let's, uh, let's jump into Notre Dame and Navy. Very interesting turn of events that is going on today. Uh, the game was supposed to be College Game Day's first ever trip to Dublin, Ireland. It was going to be Saturday, August 29th, the first weekend. It was going to be week zero. We've talked week about that zero. over the last few years. Yeah. Um, it's the first weekend of college football, but not a ton of big games. You've only got like four or five games that are going on. Just random stuff, like somebody goes and plays Hawaii, uh, et cetera, right? So, that game, however, because of the coronavirus stuff, because of everything else that's going on, it is being moved from Dublin, and they have moved it to Annapolis, Maryland, to Navy's home stadium. Yep. That may not seem like that big of a deal to somebody that doesn't pay attention to this sport. Notre Dame and Navy have played 94 straight years. It is the longest-running rivalry, the longest-running matchup in college football that is going on today. It did not stop for either of the world, like any of the world wars. It didn't stop for uh, anything. It never stopped. Every year, Notre Dame and Navy play for 94 consecutive seasons. They have never played in Annapolis, Maryland, at Navy's home stadium. It has never happened. How absurd is that? That that well, has they never always happened. end up playing in like New York or Baltimore or like a like a big stadium. A couple of years ago, they did San Diego, et yeah. cetera. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, they've they've done, they've gone they've gone around to other places because Navy has naval bases all over the country, and they want to kind of spread the love to all of those people with a big time game. There is no bigger game for Navy outside of the Army game than the Notre Dame game. And, and Notre Dame does the same thing as well. Uh, jumping back on the other topic, Damien said, if the teachers get paid for teaching, why shouldn't these student athletes get paid, uh, paid for playing? Um, yeah, I mean, it, this is all exactly what we've been saying. I mean, it's just the whole thing's ridiculous. The players need to get paid, period, period, in a sentence. Uh, ben said, that sucks. I've been to Dublin. It's a really cool city. Yes, eventually. Well, they're going to probably go back. Yes, eventually they will have this game in Dublin. Well, did, didn't they play in Dublin year. a few years ago, but game day just wasn't there? No, I don't think so. Yeah, they've played this game I thought they played like before. in Australia or something, didn't they? Maybe they played in Ireland. They played this game somewhere else. I, I think this was going to be the first one in Dublin. I could be. It wasn't in Australia. That. I assure you that it was like a, like a, not yeah. I'm uh, I'm looking through. Oh, by the way, uh, so it said around forty thousand people from the U.S. were expected to attend the sold out game. It was already sold out. Um, let's see. Uh, we are obviously disappointed not to be traveling to Ireland this August. Navy Athletic Director Chet Gladchick said in the statement. But as expected, our priority must be ensuring the health and safety of all involved. I am expecting that we will still be able to play Notre Dame as our season opener, but there is still much to be determined by health officials and those that govern college football at large. Once we have a definitive plan in place, we'll announce the specific. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so it, basically, let's see. This uh, the game will mark the first time Notre Dame visits Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. Each prior meeting hosted by Navy has been played at a neutral site. Uh, overall, Notre Dame owns a seventy nine thirteen and one record. Um, yeah, like it's it, this is a massive game. By the way, it is no longer on August 29th. because they're moving it back to the states. Uh, it is going to be on Labor Day weekend. So, I don't know. There we go. Matt said they played in Ireland in 96 and 2012. Ben said uh, Cal played someone in Australia a few years back. Uh, yeah, Cal I just played in 96 Rice. and 2012. Coke Park. Croke Park and Aviva Stadium. Are those in Dublin? Yes. Okay, so it was in Dublin, but it was... So, well, Dublin, okay. listen, Ireland's not that damn big, okay? I know. I know. It's, <laughs> it's not a real big state, a uh, country, whatever. Where, yeah. where is... Is Conor McGregor from Dublin, or is he, he from somewhere else? No, nah, he's probably from a small part of Ireland, if That'd I had to guess. guess. That'd be my guess. I'm going to bet he spent a lot of time in Dublin, because once you get big, you have to city. go to the city for stuff. That, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. But yes, it is... I, I think this is going to be really cool. Uh, at this point, with... Uh, uh, ben said he's from Dublin, I believe. So, okay. interesting. Either way, uh, this it, it's a very interesting turn of events because Navy getting to host Notre Dame for the first time, kind of a big deal. Um, you know, and we don't we don't see that very often. I think it's going to be a really cool spectacle, regardless of whether they are uh, fans or it, whoever else in the stadium. I think it's going to be nice to see. So. <laughs> 